Oh yeah, those are oh, they're oh, the oh, trout. Looks like uh, they're gonna be fish today for us to catch. How's it going guys? We are out here somewhere very special. I actually have no clue where we are to be honest. But if you guys saw one of my recent videos, Instagram posts, I went on a crazy adventure in New Jersey with my buddy Chris. And I just wanna show you guys a couple things that people commented that are relevant to today's video. So we're gonna look at a couple comments here from my Instagram post. And uh, this guy, this first guy says, you guys are effed. Then we get another interesting comment down below. Stop posting pictures of local slash illegal bodies of water. People are figuring it out. And as we all know, one person turns into two, two turns into three, etc. I'm not trying to burn any spots here. I literally did not mention anything about where I was fishing, except that I was fishing in New Jersey. Let's look at another comment right here. Unbelievably disrespectful. I guess you're already down for another court case. Another. Did I have a first court case? You should have delete this out of respect for the fish and the locals. Definitely not worth the views. Now we're going to go to yet another comment right here. Remember when officials came knocking on your door about moving the blue girl around? Good times. More good times on the way. We shall wait and see. Well, to be honest, my friend, you might be waiting for a while because I still have not had any knocks on my door since then. But I'll tell you guys what. After that send with my buddy Chris, I knew that I had to come back out to Jersey and do a little revenge send. Fortunately enough, in that same comment section, we had one from this man right here, the Sky Life. Jersey guys are hard asses. Sorry you have to deal with them. Hit me up next time you're around and we'll get, we'll get on some even bigger New Jersey fish. I heard that, I was like, dude, I gotta hit this guy up. And sure enough, we made the three hour drive out here. And here he is right here, guys. Sky, how's it going, man? We're ready for the adventure and fishing is all about the positivity doing your thing, getting out in nature, in your element, and just enjoying what's out here. So today, I'm gonna show one rod what the Jersey fishing can truly be like, and just how you can have a great time out here and not really worry too much about any of the haters out there. This guy, I, I just met him like 30 minutes ago, and he's literally the absolute polar opposite of the guys in the comments that you just read. I honestly don't have any idea what's in store, but we're gonna get out there, have a great day of fishing in New Jersey. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Start things off, we are gonna need my waders, then ultralight, right man? Yep. All right, let's go ahead and grab out my ultralight right there. Got a lot of rods in here. Yes, we this do. Show. We're gonna right. be doing a lot of fishing. A lot of multi-species fishing today. Oh, yeah. Got the backpack and uh, we're good to head out. Somewhere in there, there should be a, a creek, a river. I don't know. Let the adventures begin. One rod, you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's freaking do it. That away. Oh, uh, yes, this way. Pretty much, it's a little bit of a walk to the spot. It's, uh, oh my God, look at this, the stocking truck's rolling up. No way. Is it one of those days you can't fish? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. How's it going? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is nuts. Is that, this is a stock, I've actually never seen one. Is that a stocking truck? Yeah. That's actually crazy, dude. We're literally just walking down this guy's spot and this <laughs> truck just pulls up. This might be a very interesting day. You, you think he's stalking? Can we really like watch that? Let, let's ask him, yeah, that'd be awesome. And just so you know, we did not plan this out. We didn't know the stalking guy would be here. It just so happens that we might be already on the fish <laughs> quicker than we thought. <laughs> can I just get a cast into the back of that truck? You think I catch something? I think there are enough fish and they, they might bite your lure. Wow, this, this could be cool. Have you on, man? Hey, is it okay if I uh, just, uh, film? I've never seen trout get uh, released. Can I, can I film it and watch it? I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Dude, we are in luck. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Look how beautiful this, this creek is. Back in Maryland, I very rarely see creeks this clear and beautiful. So we are starting off the New Jersey send with uh, definitely some good fortune. Whoa, what the? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> he just flopped a bunch of... <laughs> 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 All right, so this is how they release the... Oh, yeah, the those are... Oh, oh, they're the trout. Looks like yeah. uh, they're going to be fish today for us to catch. I think they're definitely going to be fish in this area. <laughs> that is actu actually insane. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to fish for these fish though. <laughs> hey, I fish for anything. Yeah. Wow, we're getting down there too. You can see oh yeah, you see they're trying to swim upstream. It's, so I guess it's natural instinct for trout to want to fish upstream, huh? Yeah, they do. I find a lot of times people say to trout move upstream a lot, but with high flows and everything, you find most of the fish actually downstream, especially the exactly. soft trout. I feel like the stockies don't have the same yeah. 
strength is a wild fish. Okay. So they'll, good rain, if, if you know where some big fish are, fish a little downstream of oh, that. Wow. Oh, hey, bro, um, come over here for a second. So yep. This is an option. I'm going to teach some. This is an option to get a good thumbnail. Yeah. So I'm just taking, uh, I'm just keeping this clean still. I might, you, you can use this for a thumbnail too. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get a potential good thumbnail right here. You know, you get like the oh. count and then you have him throwing it in. Oh, yeah. Too. So that's like, just keep that in mind. Like, always think about thumbnails when you get one. Absolutely. So, yeah. So you can try to get a good thumbnail too, right? Oh, it's a big one right there. Let's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Whoa, not. that's a giant! <laughs> they can throw it in some huge shit. Yeah, there's a couple huge ones. A lot of them, dude, that one was like 24 inches that he just threw in. What, what do you think about 22? What, how big do you think that was? The biggest one he threw in was probably 23 inches. That's insane. And really fast. That's actually nuts. This is actually insane. What are the odds? Literally, what are the odds? Nuts, dude. They put so many shot <laughs> in there. Yeah, they I'm do. I'm amazed. I never thought, I never seen how many threw the stuff. This box would be good all summer. <laughs> yeah. And look at this. All the trout guys are literally right there. You can see them right in the water. They're all trying to swim up. They're all that's like 50 trout right there. Wow. Now bro, if you had to guess, do you think these trout are gonna bite right now? I think so. I don't see why not. We got a little countdown minnow tied on to start off. And the stock trout, what I've learned is they're very finicky to the kind of presentation you give them. They like okay. inline spinners. I was gonna I was gonna throw an inline spinner. Yeah, and they, they like sometimes countdown minnows and they usually bite. I'm, I've never fished for fish right off the truck, and I don't know. Do you think we're allowed to? I, we can, we'll definitely ask the guy. Let's yeah. ask, you can ask him. Ask him. Excuse me. Are we allowed to fish here? Yes. No. Wow. wow. Catch and release till the tenth. Okay, gotcha. And then you can eat six a day. Okay, great. Well, wow. neither of us eat fish anyways, so we're good. We're just we just fish the dude. I see a giant one right there. If I could catch that, I'd be so stoked. Uh, we're, we're gonna catch him. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to walk a little further to the spot. I usually don't fish here <laughs> because this spot's a little pressured. But I think I think we're gonna have to fish here to start off. Yeah, we're de we're definitely gonna have to spend some time fishing here. In fact, uh, you're fishing the countdown middle. I'm gonna tie on. I mean, I gotta tie on the inline spinner. We're just absolutely, gonna. Absolutely. This is nuts, man. This is absolutely nuts. How hectic is this feeling? We're walking out thinking very yeah. chill, walk to the spot. Oh my gosh, it's nutty. So the tables have turned a little bit. And it's got really hectic here. Like, so let's play. We can look little rooster tail. So Cannot go wrong. One sixteenth of an ounce. We're starting with this bad boy. Hey, right. thanks, thanks for that, man. I think we're gonna have a little more luck now. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> he definitely helped us out. <laughs> yeah, you ready to make our first? Why don't we make our first cast together and see who gets fish number one? All right, sounds good. good. <laughs> Challenge number one. Let's, oh, dude, that, that guy just fed. That guy just went in the water and tried to eat something. I just won't blow up that. Yeah, sorry, right, it's, it's game over, guys. Yeah, we're getting in. Right. Number one first. You ready? Yep. Countdown. Countdown. Three, versus in line spin. two, one, go. Oh, I hit something. Oh, I hit the wire. I, I hit the wire too, dude. We both hit the wire. Just, I gotta back up. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank we'll you. let you go. All yours. I appreciate it. I think I think I'm stacked. I've literally got two overhyped. Dude, I nailed that freaking. Oh wait, you got, wait. I'm oh, literally wait. in the wire. Look at this. I'll just pull. I'll just pull. Oh, I'm good. Awesome. Woo! Oh look at that. That's like a it looks like a steelhead. Is it really? It looks, it looks like, like it. it. I see like colors. Okay. All right, mulligan on that. Yep. You ready? I'm just going go for a nice low cast. All right. One, two, three, go. Uh, All right, let's see. My lure got tangled. Your lure got tangled. Oh, oh give me hard. Uh, uh, that guy came to the top. He was not. Oh, oh, okay. oh, he came up. Look at He's looking at it. I got him. Oh, he got off. <laughs> Dude, these guys are hungry. These fish are actually hungry. It's crazy, like, how they literally just got thrown out of the truck, and now they're they're feeding, you know? Oh, that's a huge one. Wait, yeah, what? The, what is that? Wait, what? What? He's got a hook jaw. Why did he have a hook jaw like that? I think it's um, something to do with breeding. Like the fish develop that, or um, did I hear it's from? I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Oh, it's coming. Oh, dang. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder how they feel after being just dumped. Oh, I went after it. Yeah, they like chasing it. Current. All right, I'm just gonna try to. You're good. I was gonna over you and not gonna hit the wire. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna fire it up. I think that's oh, I got him! Oh, he came off! Oh. Dang it! Dude, that current is where it's at. This is nuts, dude. This is nuts. This, yeah. Wow. I knew I oh, knew he's coming up? He's coming up? Yeah, he definitely got me on some fish. They're following it. He's looking at it. Eat it! Ah, he, oh, he didn't set the hook. He barely nibbled at it. Yeah, these fish are really bad with, like, actually eating the bait. They're good at, like, they don't know how to feed. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, they... they <laughs> They probably just thrown the fed pellets at the uh, farms, right? Yep. 
who will win the first challenge of the trip. Yep. I'm not going to catch one on the concrete. <laughs> actually, well, you actually could have if you're throwing them in, catch them midair. <laughs> it's a little baby. I mean, technically, I should I should uh, wet my hand. Should I detect the slime coating? Yeah. Oh, here you go. I'll wet my hand with some water right here. Oh, good idea. Perfect. That should do it. Check their slime coating. Trout have very sensitive slime coatings, correct? Yep. You gotta be super gentle with these fish. Yeah. Care. Just like one rod said, wet your hands first before you handle yep. every fish and get them back in the water as soon as possible. And this is fish number one of the New Jersey Revenge Den, guys. Hooked them right through the top of the lip. First of many fish. Yep. First of many fish, hopefully. On the rooster tail. And I mean, that guy just threw him from up here. So if I, you know, gently drop him right here, should be no issue. Totally fine. You know what? how they stock the Alpine lakes? They drop them in the helicopters, right? Yep. That's crazy. All right. Thank you, little guy. Fish number one. I mean, right there is like a 20 incher. It's number one, but one of many, man. Awesome. Wow. Whew, it kind of feels like we're shooting fish in a barrel right now, but you know, I mean, we just came out here and there happened to be a fish truck. Yeah, so we're we, gonna. We, we did say the fish gods were gonna be on our sides, so we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta take what the fish gods are gonna give us. Oh, wow. This is actually nuts, though. There's a million trout over here. Oh, I'll, what if we cast? All right, let's see what happens if I cast upstream. Like they're used to feeding. Oh my oh. god. They, they, it seems like the ones over here are a little more aggressive. Oh, dude, there's, a there's, there's, there's a giant? Right down there. I believe it. Okay, I, I need to tie up quick. Tie up, man. I'm gonna use the spinner and see if I can catch one. Oh, I got him! That, oh, he got off, he got off. Oh, <laughs> I got him! I got, dude, they, they're they so finicky with their biting. It's the, it's the, I know, there's hundreds of, they're all, they're all trying to swim upstream. It's crazy. I gotta calm down right here. We gotta calm down. <laughs> Oh, got him. Oh, you got, he got off. We're gonna be saying this a lot. Oh, got him. Oh, no. That is absolute facts. One's coming in, coming in, and he oh. looks at it. And no, oh, come back around. Oh, did it. Oh, oh, shit, my head. Oh, no. <laughs> okay? We're good, we're good. Are you sure? I, yeah, we did, I didn't get hooked. We're good, we're good. Oh, get back just, in there. Just <laughs> <laughs> Almost had a uh, Papa One Rod moment right there. Are you okay? Yeah, we're good. Right, I, no, you're good. I, I'm gonna throw on my shades to be that'll be protected. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind getting hooked as long as it's not in my eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we got another one! Nice. Dude, the good luck getting hit in the head. <laughs> Look at this. This one's a little better. Oh, we oh, we doubled up. Oh, he got off. You need the water bottle, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Give me a... Oh, no, we got a puddle right here. Look, look. This oh, is clean, right? Awesome. Puddle right here. Green All right, video. wet the hands. Another perfect hook set right through the top. This one's about... Maybe about almost close to 12 inches. Beautiful rainbow stocky. That is a really beautiful one for yeah. a fish. Oh, got oh, it. Oh, we doubled up. up. I'm going to let this guy go. Keep him, keep him nice and healthy. Nice, this nice. This guy's on the fish number one for him. Fish number one on a power bait worm. Nice, dude. That's a good start for me. That is, that I is. This jig is gonna get more of the stocked fish bites just because it's a slower presentation. Mm -hmm. The fish have more time to eat it. But hey, oh, oh, oh that <laughs> quick release. We'll, we'll and that. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut that one out. <laughs> this is actually, I mean, this is some of the most, this is literally easier to catch these trout than it is bluegill because they just, they, what do you think they stock? Like 500 or 200? In this spot right now? Yeah, 200? Dude, I think they stock like, Dude, like oh, there's another one. 300, 400. All right, I'm, I'm starting to get the hook set down. Yeah, it's all about the hook set here. Right? Oh, God. You got him. Double, yeah. double, double up. Double, double up. Oh, this is a dark uh, one, too. Look at the colors double. on this fish. Let's check him out. Look at the different strain on these two rainbows. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's way darker. Okay, so that just comes down to the strain, huh? Uh, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, and yours is definitely fatter, too. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, they're slimy. They are. That's crazy. Might as well be fishing the hatchery today. Yeah, <laughs> might as well, yeah. Uh, let's go for the three. Let's go for three in a row right here. Three cast, three fish. Three double ups. Three double ups. Oh, I got him. Oh, he got off. I had him. Oh. He was on for. Oh, okay. I see him. Oh, my streak ends. You got him. Oh, you kept. Guys, keep the streak going. Three trout, three oh, oh, quick release. It doesn't count. It doesn't count? Okay. Well, we lost our streak there, but we can start another one. Uh, yeah, nice. yeah. Oh, that's a better okay. one. Oh, oh he came, yeah, it came off. So it's really key to have polarized glasses. Then what I'm doing is as soon as I see them bite it, you set the hook. Because if you don't set the hook... I, I, dude, how do they keep getting off? I got him again. Nice. All right, we're on this time. We're on this time. All about the hook set, baby. Oh, yeah. What the hands <laughs> Yep. Ah, good trout fishing catch and release right here. Something that I've learned over the years. I mean, these are all like identical. 
so far all the fish we caught have been pretty identical, right, man? Yep. Oh, but there are some absolute like like look at that one's over 20 right there. You, you oh, think? Usually 21, 21, 22 it's inches. That too. And feed on the pellets. <laughs> so what do you think? They stock like 20 big ones out of the 400. It looked like, and some real monsters too. Oh, you got one? Oh, you got the monster? Oh, oh no, yeah, it's a nicer one. Nice man. Here we've shown both of the Thank you. Too. Thank you for that. Oh, get back in there. <laughs> This is nutty. I think the worm's doing the trick and the spinner too for you. It's all about, I think something is something to be said about trout fishing is you find the lure and whatever you're throwing, you just have to have confidence in yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a, oh, I shouldn't yell, I shouldn't yell. Those are gigantic trout. Oh, oh sorry, you're good, you're good. Too. Switch. The size. Oh, well, dude, dude, I might, I might get the monster. No way. He's right here. He's right there. He's right there. Dude, that thing is over 24 inches, yes? Uh, over, or no? Over 20. Oh, over 20? Okay. I'm really, not, really I'm not a trout expert. Too. It's tough for me to tell. A lot of times a trout is interesting. Like sometimes you're oh, not he's on. Got him. He's oh, on. That's yep. a good one too. That's a good one. Could be the biggest one. Got him. Double. You know what? We're doubled. We're doubled. Yeah, this might be. This one might be over 12. You know, what I think it might be too. We're getting the fish in the feeding mentality. Yeah, yeah, we're firing them up. Yeah. It's like a school of smallmouth. It's like <laughs> a school of smallies right here. You get them fired up. Dead. Absolutely beautiful fish out here. Double trouble situation. <laughs> get him right back. This is the most fish I've caught in 2020. <laughs> no way, are you serious? Just today, yeah. Oh, I have not oh. been catching doing that well. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Trout. Oh, he took the worm. He took the worm? No oh, yeah, rig. rig. Let's re let's, uh, let's focus here. Mm. Uh, we still get this giant pool to fish. Oh my gosh, dude. What would a big trout like eat potentially? I a little jerk bait, a little minnow bait? Oh, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Big countdown minnow? Yeah. Like, here, I'll show you what I got in here few baits that I would definitely go to. Oh, you got a lot of different baits in here. Bigger size countdown. Okay, okay. Always does a trick. Yep. Or a little, um, what's this called? Ultralight minnow. Yep, okay. So any kind of jerk bait, I would say yeah. you might get the bigger bite. Yeah, because at this point, we've caught so many little fish. You know, that's cool. We caught them, but we want to catch, we've seen plenty of big fish in here. That's what we're trying to target. They're in here. So I'm also gonna try in. a little jerk bait. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use a very tiny jerk style bait. And let's see. What is the smallest jerk bait I got? Down deep in my box. This is my small, it's a flash. Oh. Look at that thing. Dude, what do you think? Like a pin minnow style, like it was dirty? Exactly, well this is actually a Lucky Craft, but this is just a, the, oh, the tiniest okay. jerk bait I got. It's absolutely gorgeous in color. I'm gonna throw this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna throw Good this shot. one. I'm throwing the tube. All right guys, we're gonna switch it up here. We got a new bait, and I'm gonna try fishing the deeper pool over here. This guy's gonna fish from the bridge a little bit more. Do you? You might have to teach me how to fly fish, bro. I will. Dude, I'll get it. Yeah, let's do, after we finish with this, let's do that. That be that could be fun. Oh, I got him! I'm on. Oh, it feels better. Oh, he got off. He got off. I saw that too. I think it might be like a 13 incher. So far, the bait change is working out pretty well. A couple nice fish just follow in the bait. So we're just casting out there, working a cross current, twitch, twitch, pause. You like the tube as well? Yeah, these fish. I mean, they definitely are hitting a wide variety of baits. How do we get the bigger fish oh, to get interested? Oh, this is much more fun fishing like this too. Oh, this, I mean, this feels bigger. This feels bigger. I could be wrong though. I don't know if it's the way it's hooked or what, but this feels, definitely feels like a higher quality fish. Oh, it's same size, it's just hooked on the side a little bit. Oh, in the mouth and the side. Oh, okay, wet the hands. Oh, got two hook. I got one hook now. Woo! Okay. Oh, dude, this guy's got a cleft lip. Let's try the cleft lip. Look at him. Uh, I mean, I think, I don't know what you call this, but it's like, Let me see. yeah, come down and check it out. Yeah, yeah. This trout right here definitely looks uh, a little bit interesting. I mean, guys, comment below what's going on with this trout. I don't know exactly, but he definitely looks a little bit deformed. See this man? It's like a mahi mahi a little bit. Oh, yeah, the, the mahi mahi trout. <laughs> See you later, buddy. And there he goes. Like you alright? Yeah, my, my waist got stuck. I thought my waist was there. Yeah, we're good. Ah, so, I'm on. Ah. How's it feel? Yeah, same, about the same as all the others. These are like clones of each other. Probably about somewhere in the 12 inch range. You're right, the trick is definitely weedy up. Yeah. I mean, this one ain't bad. I'm happy to catch these all day. But since we have the opportunity, I'm trying to go for that monster, monster trout. This is a beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, perfectly hooked. I mean, I'll catch these all day, guys. 
I am not going to be complaining about this. Hooks out nice and easy, hooked them perfectly, and now we're going to get the release. Let me give you guys a little close-up, show you how pretty these trout are. Let them go right in the clear water. There he goes, off to the side, up, up, zigzag, towards the current, making a left, a right, and off she goes. All right, this guy's over there fishing the back end of the pool. I'm still fishing the middle. We're gonna see who gets that big fish first. Mm -hmm. 